A long, long time ago, there lived a clever king named Sisyphus in a country named Corinth. Everyone loved him, and he took good care of his people. After becoming the king of Corinth, he solved many of the problems that the country faced. He was able to solve every issue except one. Corinth didn't have any source for fresh water. The people of the country had to depend on their neighbors for fresh water. The people were struggling, and the king tried everything he could. One day, as usual, the king was strolling in the garden, trying to come up with an idea to solve Corinth's fresh water problem. It was then he saw Zeus fly by. He was carrying a lovely girl in his arms. Sisyphus quickly recognized the girl. She was the daughter of Asopus, the river god. Soon after, Asopus flew by. Have you seen my daughter? He bellowed at the king. Sisyphus was very clever, and he quickly came up with an idea. I will tell you what I saw, but only if you give my people a source of fresh water, he shouted back. Asopus waved his hands, and a clear stream of fresh water magically appeared, flowing through the city. Sisyphus was very, very happy. Zeus took your daughter, and he went that way, the king pointed. The king knew Zeus would be angry when he heard what the king had done, but Corinth desperately needed a source of fresh water, and now they had one. People were overjoyed when they saw the stream of fresh water bubbling up. Zeus was furious at the king. He wanted revenge. So he met his brother Hades, who ruled the underworld. You must take King Sisyphus to the underworld immediately, said Zeus angrily. When Sisyphus realized that he will be soon taken to the underworld, he came up with another plan. The king whispered to his wife, I will be taken to the underworld soon. His wife gasped when she heard this. But do not worry. You must do exactly as I say, and I will return from the underworld alive, the king said. When they tell you I am dead, do not put a gold coin under my tongue. She was a good wife and agreed to his request. Soon the king died, and being a good wife, his wife did exactly as he asked her. Because the king was a very important person, Hades himself met the king at the River Styx, the entrance to the underworld. Since the king didn't have a gold coin under his tongue, he arrived at the River Styx as a poor beggar. Where is your gold coin? Hades demanded to know. How can you pay for a trip across the River Styx and arrive in the underworld? The king hung his head in shame. My wife was too cheap to pay for the passage. When Hades heard this, he felt pity for the king and said, You go right back to the living world and teach that woman some manners. So the king went back and lived a happy life with his wife in Corinth. The king and his wife laughed at the story for a long time, but never told anyone else. After all, you never know when the gods are listening. Thank you.